In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a third person camera using Cinemachine free loop camera. So currently this project doesn't have any camera follow. So the camera is actually stationary. And if I click W, the character just moves forward to add camera follow. I'm going to use the Cinemachine package. So make sure in package manager, you have Cinemachine installed. And now since I'm using a version 2021, my Cinemachine is actually in here and I can add the free loop camera. Now I can go to the game view and see how it looks right now. It's pointing somewhere random. So let's actually make sure we follow our character and that's going to get closer to my character. And now I want to specify what I'm on the look at. Now, if I drag the look at of my player, you can see that it's centering at the player's feet. So one way you can actually go around this is create another game object, call it look at, and instead of using the player to look at, we can use this game object instead. Now by moving the transform of this look at, we can move where the camera is looking. I'm going to set it to two. That's the center of my player here. Go back to the free look camera right here. And for the free look camera, we actually have three rigs. So top rig, middle rig and bottom rig. You can move the rigs around and based on the rotation is going to be switching between the height and the radius of these orbits. I'm going to switch my orbits to five for the middle one. And then for the lower one, I switch to four. And for the top one, let's actually do seven. So something like that. And let's take a look at how that looks right now. Right here, you can see that I have the camera. If I move my camera down, you can see it's getting closer. And if I move the camera up, it's getting further away but we still have the objects blocking our view. And my movement is actually inverted to what I want. To invert our movement, we can go under Y axis and invert this here. It depends what type of game you're creating, but in my case, that's what I wanna do. The other thing I wanna change is this orbits binding mode, and I want to switch to world space so that the rotation of my player is not gonna be affecting my camera. Let's look at the result right now. And then we're going to take a look at how to avoid obstacles blocking our camera. So here is our movement. I can run and my camera is going to follow my player, but the obstacles are blocking out the camera. So if you want the camera to avoid obstacles, the option that we have here is under extension. We can add an extension. And the one that I'm looking for is the machine collider. So let's select that. Some of the settings that I'm going to change here is the minimum distance for the target. So I'll set it to one so that the camera won't go past my character. And for the strategy, we have a couple of strategies, but I'm going to just use pull camera forward. So just going to decrease the distance from my player when the obstacle is going to be blocking our view. So let's take a look at the result now. And right here, you can see that whenever the camera gets closer to a tree, it's actually zooms in to avoid that. And now if we run and try to follow our player, you can see that our camera is actually changing and avoiding all of those obstacles. Of course, when you're in tight space, you're going to be real close to the character, but that is to be expected. And in places like this, where the obstacle is really close to the character, it's not going to actually try to zoom in because I have that limit of one distance. Even distance of one, I think is a little bit too close for this character. But that's just a point for you to start at and you can tweak the settings for what you're looking for. A couple more things that I'm going to mention here. If you want the camera zoom in and zoom out to be a little bit smoother, you can actually use the damping. So we have damping and damping when occlusion. And with those settings, you can see that the camera is much smoother. It's not as snappy and you can adjust those values as you like. You might get some clipping because of that damping but I think it looks better than actually snapping. So it's your decision what you want to do. If you like the video, make sure you click on that like button and I'll see you in the next one.